Here we come. There. Up, 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 up. Good. My name is Vesa Punk. I'm a senior director of um, JTCC. I knew that I wanted to coach junior players when I was done with coaching pro players. Um, it sounds great to be on the pro tour and coach pro players, but it's actually a pretty rough uh, life, uh, lifestyle. You never know when you get fired and um, you're almost babysitting there. So I didn't really enjoy that one. I did it for a couple of years and I, and, and I started to coach juniors and it's much more fulfilling because I can actually make a difference. And, and most of the time juniors are listening to me. So I enjoy it much, much more. If you go to the pole like that and then you have to hit, what do you have to do? You have to turn one more time and that timing is going to be difficult. I like to think that I, ha I have a teacher's mentality. So I have kind of developed that one in the long run. So when you get to the point that you have a teacher's mentality, then it doesn't feel like a work anymore. I have learned to be patient. It, patience is everything that is, needs to be there. And if you don't have patience, you have no chance. That's it. Good. Tennis is the, maybe the greatest sport for the young people to get them ready for the life skills. Um, you have to be a problem solver. And, and that is a life skill that has, is priceless. Also in tennis, you, have, you lose a lot. You know, even the, even the best players in the world, they lose every week. So you have to learn how to lose and bounce back. So in my book, it is the best sport for the young people to really make sure they, will, they can be successful in a, in a game of life. Keep on working on the drop into your game. Okay, and if you lose some points, who cares? Uh, that's a good question. What is the toughest thing for juniors when they are practicing and trying to try to become as good as they can be? It's very easy. It's a, it's a belief and confidence because uh, <clears throat> this is their first trip or their first journey to become something, something, and they haven't been there before. It's easier for me because I have maybe gone through five different player generations. But um, to put that belief into the player and, and, and making sure they have a healthy self-confidence, that is the most important thing, not only as a tennis coaches, but as a teachers. You don't want to be one-dimensional player because you have a talent to be more than that. I have been lucky enough to get some kind of awards over the years, and it's, it's very nice, it's flattering, but it's basically what other people think about you. What is the most important thing for me is what the players think about me. A couple of years ago, it was nice to get the National Coach of the Year award. But again, it, it, it comes from the people who are sitting behind the desk and they just look at some results. So it's nice, but I appreciate it more when the, my older players are still, they, they still value my opinion. So that is, that is rewarding. I like to think in the individual basis. I like to think that uh, there will be some individuals who will think that, hey, I got inspired by this uh, bold guy who can barely speak English. Um, he got me to work hard. He got me to understand that, hey, you know, life is all about ups and downs. And, uh, you know, I hope that in individual basis, my players are thinking like that. And hopefully many of them will go into teaching. And then, they, and then they, can, they can teach these life lessons again to some other people. I have been in tennis all my life. I'm 52 years old now. First, it gave me a chance to travel all over the world. Uh, it, it gave me a pro, it gave me a education. And now it has been given me a great profession to be able to teach and mentor young kids. So I, I already told my wife that I will, I will never retire because I'm not really working. I don't feel like I'm working. So one of, one of these days they will carry me out and then, then that's it. But I'm not planning to retire.